I hope everyone's doing well. Um, so I want to talk in this video about my character, about Asuka. Now I feel like a lot of people criminally underrate this character because I've seen so many tier lists where Asuka's put in bottom 3, she was put in bottom 5, 10, I even seen her in bottom 2. So I just want to like clear up some misconceptions about the character and like really show some of the stuff that she really excels at. So you know, I'll go over a few things about her and I'll really like try and demonstrate why I believe that this character is kind of a sleeper, like high tier kind of character. So let's have a talk about it. So the first thing that I think people don't really talk about is the fact that Asuka has arguably the best Denver 2 combo in the game mid screen because um, she has 72 damage off her Denver 2 into a flip over situation. Now I asked on Twitter like who has good damage off Denver 2 and people said oh you know Paul can do this extremely hard combo for 73 or Nina can do this very specific off axis combo for like 75 or whatever but Asuka gets 72 off like not easy combo but definitely a lot easier than the ones I've seen and also it goes into a flip over situation meaning that um, she can uh, continue her pressure afterwards so this will be the combo so 72 damage into a flip over situation and she can run up afterwards and still harass the opponents you know bully with Denmark 3 or whatever so this is something that people don't talk about Asuka has crazy damage mid screen and even more so when she has rage drive for the 4 for 1 follow up so yeah, that's definitely something to keep in mind with Asuka. So reason number two is that she has one of the best rage drives in the game. Now I say this because like mid screen it does so much damage. I can show you here. So it does 90 damage, minus two for rage, but it does 90 damage mid screen. She gets it free after so many hits. For example, demon plus two into rage drive. That's a big comeback low, like 63 damage is a very big comeback low for uh, like she needs to make a comeback in general. On block it's plus 11 and she's in their face, so they normally have to take a mix up in those situations. Most characters have to hold a mix up here. And like I said, she, and then she gets it after certain follow ups like while well, signing 1-4 as well into rage drive. And on block they have to force it to take a mix up and then combos and she can go into it for like huge chunks of damage so it's a really good race drive it has a lot of purpose you know a lot of usage you know free hits combo ender uh high class launcher and then just it's just a really strong race drive overall so let's move on to talk about her oki game her oki is really strong compared to a lot of characters one of the big things about her Oki game is the fact that she has a key shark tackle, which is just plain break and break up punches. She gets free rage drive into the down for three afterwards. And if you don't have rage, she can do a just four two follow up. So she has a very so if she has set situations where she can screw into that. And if you tech roll, you will get caught by that. And then she has reasons to make you tech roll. For example, if she does this. So she has reasons to make you tech roll. So if you don't tech roll there, you get refloated. But if you but if you stay in the ground, she's able to pick you up. So she's able to pick you up off the ground. So she's a really good Oki game. And it's not just the key charge tackle, it's not just the unblockable reset. It's also the fact that she makes really good usage of key charge. If you ever watch S line play, you'll know exactly what I mean. So when she is key charge. She has access to a very high damaging 14 frame low launcher with can cans. So this will hit as a low and just loads of mids to hit you with. So and even this as a low launcher as well. You can crash cancel Denver 2 after this. And then for mids she has stuff like this. You know, like your and then she has like one plus two if you want to keep safe. Back four or for three. Like whatever you want with her. Like she has a lot of options for mid and low in key charge. So it's very scary to approach Asuka and also, you know, she has reversal to keep you in check if you try to attack her while she's key charge. So her key charge mind game is very scary and I think she benefits the most from key charge in the game. Key charge tackle, key charge setups like that, unblockable reset, uh, non tech roll reset. She has a lot going for her and also her flip over mid screen and at the wall, her ender, gives them flip over into 
you know, one plus two mix-ups or ten back three or whatever low you want to use. So our Oki game is very, very good. So the next one is talking about her move set. So her launchers in general, she has a lot of good launchers. So she has so many normal hit launchers, she has so many um counter hit launchers, notably counter hit launchers. We're talking about one plus two. Is this safe mid launcher on creatures? We're talking about Dumper 2, which I believe has the fastest recovery Dumper 2 on with in the game. And she has while standing 3, which can go under some peak characters' Dumper 1s and mids. And it's also the pushback and block means a lot of characters struggle to punish it. We also have back 3, which is pretty infamous. Again, a lot of characters struggle to punish this move. And it can give Asuka a really scary uh, anti pitbull move up close. We have 4 2, of course, you know, the classic with Punisher 4 2 into a really good damage on screen, like I mentioned before. For counter at launcher, she has while standing on plus 2, into his unskilled 4-2. She has back 4, and if you try to take her turn off to back 4, she can kill you with this. If she has offer 3, which is only minus 3 on block, and it's really good to approach with, and in low crushes, she has FC them for 2, which you can go into a full launcher if you have the execution. I'm not going to try it now, but yeah, there you go. Or And she has 4-4-3, four, four, a home move. Uh, so she has so many launchers going for her now. I forgot to mention 4-4, four, four, which a little bit execution, you can turn into a launcher as well. And plus 3 on block home in high. So she has a lot going for her in terms of launchers. So she's going to hit you with something eventually. And like I said, with the damage I mentioned earlier, she's going to hit like a truck from them as well. So for sure, one, one of the best set of launchers in the game, if not the best. Maybe not the best, but one of the best for sure. So let's talk about her wall game a little bit. I think her wall game is noshy. Like, it's really ridiculous. I've robbed so many people just at the wall alone. So, why it was good at the wall with Alaska? So, you're talking about moves like Denmark 1 2, which is a 14 frame mid poke that high true high crushes. Now, true, not just evasion, but true high crushes in 6 frame. Has a very hit on front of follow up. And then, if it hits, you get such a damaging follow up on hit. You have size up too which is a safe mid splat that they kind of have to hold in a lot of situations because you can do it in either direction so it's very hard to for them to like keep track you know to make a read and track it and it's very fast as well 13 frames so it's pretty hard to keep asking in check when she has this all over you uh denmark three it's plus four point blank so you have to like respect her and it leaves in crouch so you can't step in one direction so she can really loop the slow against you at the wall and if you try to challenge her she has stuff like this you know very 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 damaging um options of her down for one on counter it so this will wall splat and this will um give you 50 damage into really good okay afterwards and then she has so many safe splats like down for three four for two strings FC Denver 3 wall bends and her power crush. Her power crush is one of the best in the game as well. Like she has a really good selection of power crushes and wall bends. Like um, this is 15 frame, which is like tight, fastest power crush in the game. Uh, wall bends. And you know, Asuka, she gets all this. And then flip her over Oki and then more pressure afterwards. FC Denver 3 to complement her FC pressure. So she can annoy you with stuff like this. And when you finally get frustrated and crouch, you can start slapping this on. And also her demo plus two four tech, so demo plus two, four two, and they tech roll. You can usually dash up. So when set tech roll, so he do this, do this, and then dash up. You can do it again, and then use another four two. So she has a really good like looping situation, like a comeback potential of this. So she has an amazing wall game that I've robbed countless people just off this dumb wall game alone. So. One the I w maybe I wouldn't say one of the better wall games, but it's really really damn good. And of course, let's talk about the biggest strength that Asuka has. It's her parries. It's her parries. It's her subakis, especially with the new kick subaki introduced in season four. The new kick subaki, which is safe on block, has really good range. And if she subakis a kick, she gets a full combo. So let's say. Indoors. Whatever, right? She gets a guaranteed full combo of a kick Sabaki. And then if Shin does like a punch, for example, so if she wants to safely check Asuka, 
You know, she can get full combo off this. So, if Asuka makes a read on the opponent's like patterns with their offense and steals her turn back, I think she, her as a character in the game gets the most reward on a, like a read with Subaki. So yeah, you think so? You're talking about those Subakis. You're talking about Slice Up to as well. She's really hard to pressure. So like Slice Up to the wall, especially you know, gives that damaging splat. Um, down back one two to go under highs. So if they're jabbing you with pressure or magic four or in, and you read this, you can do this. You hit confirm into a damaging follow up on wall splat. You have one two four. You know, as a ten, kind of like a cheek left cannon almost. Uh, you have can cans fourteen frame low crush launcher. It crushes faster than Hot Kick. I think Hot Kick's crushes at 9 frame. Asuka's Can Can's crushes at like, I believe 5 frame or 6 frame. And it leads into a very damaging combo mid screen. So she has, and she has a Magic 4 as well. She has reversals, Supakis. Like it's really difficult to pressure this character. And on top of that, she is extremely hard to um, get damage off because she's a very safe character. Like Denmark 3 is only minus 12. This is only minus 11, this is only minus 11. She has, all of her launchers are pretty much safe for the most part. Back three and the ones that aren't safe tend to be really difficult to punish. So she's a very hard character to get damage off. And she hurts like a truck. She has good comeback potential, amazing launchers, extremely hard to pressure. Like I said, if she gets a read on your patterns, she can get a lot of damage out of it with guaranteed full combos. So she's, like it seems kind of i can see a lot of people getting like frustrated with Asuka. you know it's so hard to pressure her and then she has really good um tools to kind of take damage off you as well at the same time so yeah that's definitely like biggest trend about Asuka. is just the the reward she gets on making the right reads on stealing turn from the opponent so just just kind of conclude this video now, like I said, like I said at the start of the video, there's a lot of tier lists I've seen that plays Asuka like literally bomb two, bomb three, bomb five, and like I just don't see it. Like you know, I've traveled all around the world, I've traveled all kinds of players from all from all across you know places, and I never felt like Asuka really held me back. Now, see the thing with Asuka is like she's a very matchup heavy character, so there's a few matchups that are really really bad for her like Safina, Kunimitsu, Fak, Julia. But at the same time, if she makes the right read, she can really steal the turn back and make gets loads of rewards, like I said earlier. So if I was to play this Asuka on a tier list, I would place her maybe like top, like the bottom of top 20 or just right outside it. So like above mid tier, that's where I would place her based on my experiences against playing everyone in the world and my experience against playing her against a lot of the cast. So I feel like there's only a few matchups where I feel like I would not use Asuka, but most matchups, you know, I would use her and I've had success with her and obviously I really like the character as well, so that might help it too. But yeah, I never felt ever with Asuka and then I hope this video will help to change people's minds, you know, see Asuka the way I see her, like she is not a traditional character, so that's the first thing people need to remember, she's not a traditional character, so hopefully this video might change people's opinions on the character a little bit. And you know, thank you for watching and please subscribe and all that, you know.